Hello, welcome back. We are six games from the end of the season. Today, we are having two of those games. And can we finish the episode in the payoff places? We're about to find out. Welcome to the Sicilian Defence. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have games against Cremonese at home in Serie B and Venezia away also in Serie B. And you'll see from this screen here that uh, we're having a look at some of the stats and uh, the first one that we pulled up most goals. Two teams on 61 goals for the season to date. Us and Crotone, who are currently top of the table. <clears throat> uh, ten goals from corners, nine goals from corners from Crotone. So uh, all in all, uh, quite uh, interesting uh, stats that uh, neither of the sides that we're playing today appear in this table, which is uh, quite uh, good. Um, I was looking at a couple of others. Uh, most shots... Uh, we're fourth in that one, 432, Spezia 508, um, fewer shots against, uh, we don't appear in that table at all, Spezia uh, only had 190, so they're the tightest defence. Um, we don't really appear in anything else here. Uh, most clean sheets, Spezia, uh, fewest conceded, Spezia, most dribbles made, Spezia, most tackles won the Scully, which is quite interesting. Pass completion, we are fourth. Uh, most possession, 55%. Um, and uh, we're second behind Spezia on that one. But Spezia doing um, quite well in amongst all of those stats. Um, what's been happening since you were last with us? Bari and Ascoli, a 2-2 draw and a 1-0 loss in the last episode. Since then, we've had a 2-0 win against Lecce. Uh, Fagioli after 10 minutes, Fabregoli after 25, and uh, then Virtus Entella, um, a 4-1 win against them, Ladonetti after 16, Rov Gallier 41 and 90 minutes, and Niccolo Fagioli, Fagioli after, uh, from the penalty spot after 60 minutes. A good game, that one. I think we'll uh, have a quick look at the goals, just to give you a uh, bang up to date, uh, as you'll see managed to pull that one off slightly different um formation for this one we matched up on this and lovely ball from sabri uh to get ladanetti in sabri on the ball again uh and rav gallier saying thank you very much so two assists for sabri out of that uh they managed to get one back through gory bit of a defensive flaw there but Fragioli making it 3-1. And Sabri in amongst it again. Out to Zappella. Zappella, lovely cross into the ball. Rav Gallier loves those sort of quick balls into the box. And makes it 4-1. 17 shots, 10 on target we had against 8 and 6. They did come back into that much. Didn't do much in the first half. And then clawed their way back in. So it's a good job that we did what we did when we did so that leaves us with today's games against Cremonese who are currently in 14th place and then we'll play Venzia who are in 10th so that's today's games and uh, I think without uh, too much we'll have a quick look at the table um let's get the bigger table up for you Crotone are literally two points away from um assuring themselves Promotion to Saria A. Um, Spezia, I think, are four points away from doing exactly the same um, based on the fact that we're third, currently 58 points, um, and with uh, four, sorry, six games left. Three, six. Uh, three, six are 18. Uh, are, on my reckoning, 76 points is the most that we can get. 
So once these two have passed 76, that is it. And Spezia have won last five games on the trot um, cleanly. Crotone have had a couple of draws, but uh, still in it. Um, and we currently are one point above Medina, uh, three points clear of Salernitana. Um, and then all the way down, it will uh, it, the playoffs will go down to eighth place. Um, and as usual in Italy, uh, fifth, uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth all play off in a first round of matches. And the winners of those will then play ourselves and whoever finish or whoever finishes third and fourth, dependent on how that works out. And then obviously on to a final. So that's all to come. Uh, in a future episode but for now let's get on with the the uh, task in hand and that's two more wins please uh, against Cremonese and also against Avenzia in this one we'll have a first game against Cremonese and here is the team that we are putting out against Cremonese for this one, our first uh, match of the episode. It's Minelli, Ingol, Visconti, Bax, Vanos, Fadjbregoli, Pavlev in our defensive line, Fagioli, Ladanetti in front of them, and then Stepovic, Sabri, who had such a good game last time out, Coffey on the right, um, and Rov Gallier on attack on the bench, De Favreau, Clayton, Ponzi, Ambrose, Calpai, De Paula, Magazu, Zapella, Mena, Comi, Silvestri, and Golfo. Just actually, Coffee is, um, he's not having, he's only 0.6, 6.62. I'm sure we must have. Ambrose is supposed to be better on the, on the right. Let's give Ambrose a run out on that right side there and just see. Plays well with Pavlev, does uh, Coffee, but, uh, He's not having such a good time of it, so let's let's just uh, switch it up a little bit. Last minute change. Let's hope it doesn't bite us. And uh, uh, what we're going to do here? I think outstretch. Go out there and carry on. We finished off. Uh, as leading scorers in Serie B, you're looking forward to another positive match in front of goal. I want my team to play on the front foot. The boys done really well so far. Can't think. Continue. Uh, Fabregoli takes the captain's armband today. What do you see in him as a leader? I know I can rely on him. Set the tone. He's an natural choice under the circumstances. Fully merits the decision. And there we are. We've drawn two of the last five. Lost one and only won two. And they've only won two, drawn three. They've not lost it in the last five. Let's hope that changes slightly today. And our task at the moment is to get away from Salonatana in uh, fifth place, I think it is. Need to open that gap up. All right, let's sort this out because uh, it's otherwise broken. There we go. And uh, early thing is nothing happening. Cremonese having the early go on target. Visconti with the corner. He was headed on the crossbar and got got kicked clear. Not quite sure who headed it on the crossbar, but. Uh, the crossbar did come in. Medina have gone above us. They must be winning. As it stands, they are beating Laverno by a goal to nil. Visconti with a throw in to Sabri. Lovely ball across for Ambrose, who tucks it out to Pavlev. And Pavlev comes forward, gets the cross in to Ambrose, who's tucked that in at the near post. And we go one up. After 25 minutes, lovely play. Salantana winning now against Crotone. So nothing changes around about us. And Ambrose in front of his marker. And he's taken full advantage of that. Started the um, attack and then uh, got himself into goal scoring position. 
another corner. Visconti with the corner. Oh, that's headed on the crossbar again. Deary me. Pavlov picked up a yellow card and looks like they may be the only highlights of this half. Half time comes and we're in a, a reasonable position. Six shots, two on target. That's the... the uh, um, that's well. One of them is the goal, of course. Uh, 0.66 on the uh, on the xG, 65% possession. So in control as it is. Having said that, they have to add two shots, two of which are on target. 0.08, 35% of the possession. Let's see if we can improve on what we've done in the first half. In the second half, let's hope so. A win would do us plenty of good. We'll be right back with the second half. And as you come back and join us for the second half, no changes made at half time, and uh, we're underway. And Cremone, 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 I can't say it now. Uh, they've got us underway anyway. And uh, lovely ball out to Stepovic here on the left hand side. Stepovic is going, it's gone out for a throw. Highlight continues. Visconti to Sabri. Back to Visconti, to Fagioli, to Visconti. Cross into the box. And Stepovic gets his head on that one for his 13th of the season. And we go two goals up. Lovely to get a goal so early in the second half. Visconti, Sabri. Lovely interplay here. Fagioli and Visconti and Sabri. Sabri with that cross is another assist for him. He must be going up on the old assist now, Vern Stepovic getting his head on that. And uh, looking good. Ball cleared, Pavlev tidying up. Goes back to Minelli. To Fabrigoli. Fabrigoli. Ben backs Venos. Headed down into the path of... Uh, I'm not sure who that was, actually. I think it was Ravgalia, actually. Ambrose to Ravgalia. Ladanetti has picked the ball up now. Pavlev. Ambrose, who's having a good game out on that wing, actually. Stepovic. Back to Ambrose. Looking for his second of the game. And a good shot. The goalkeeper equal to it on this occasion. Visconti will be taking the corner. Curls it in. And on the head of Fabregoli who I'm guessing has hit the crossbar a couple of times as well. Uh, Bax Van Os is one yellow card away from trouble. We're not uh, worried too much about that. Visconti with a throw-in to Stepovic, who's tackled and the ball given away, but uh, Ladanetti tidies up. Fabregoli to Bax Van Os. Bax Van Os, lovely ball into the path of Ravgoli. Just one step too much. Stepovic is tackled and the ball is defended. Certainly asking questions of them. They have a throw in now, though. Valerie crosses the ball in. Stepovic, who heads it clear. Nobody there. Uh, but they're going to carry on with the attack. But it's given away. Stepovic. Visconti to Ravgalier. Ravgalier again. He's lost that touch. That Midas touch that he had of putting balls away. It's just doesn't seem to be able to do it of late. 75 minutes gone. Time for changes in a minute. Rav Gallier on his own up there again. Ball out wide and they're pushing us a little bit now. Cross comes in. Fabregoli clears it. And Fagioli gets his foot in but still not given, not tidied up. And they're in here. Oh, now that looked as if it went in. <laughs> looked as if it went in and come out. Ah, Right. Fagioli is tired. De Paola is going to come on for him. Sabri is tired as well. Magazu is coming on for him. And I'm tempted to make a three change here. And take Ravgalier off as well because he's not putting away. I'm going to take Ravgalier off and bring Comi on. And that's our three changes. Just hope we don't get an injury now. And we're back underway. It gives Comi a run out. Valerie to Pianto. And 
Ambrose tidies up. Pavlev forward to Sabri. To Rovgalie. Stepovic inside to Sabri. Sabri, lovely ball to Rovgalie. And he's put it away this time, but it's disallowed. He's offside. Yeah. Sabri has got... Yeah, well offside. Um, I mean, he really is, assist-wise, is, is going some at the minute. And uh, we go into the 80th minute. And we have tired legs out there, but there's not a lot we can do about it. We've just got to button down the hatches and hope that uh, Kremonese don't come back. I don't think they are. I think we've worn them out as well. And a good win, a good 2-0 win to start the episode. 16 shots, 6 on target, 1.91 on the XG. 62% of possession against their 6 and 3. 38% possession. Um, we'll take that home. That's fine. More than happy with that. Um, individuals, well, everybody played a part, really. Rav Gallier missed chances again. Stepovic having a good game. Sabri. Well, he's just been inspired on that uh, in that middle thing. Um, please, how he did today, and uh, even Ambrose, I think, uh, definitely out on that wing had a good game. How long do you think uh, and stay unbeaten can it really last? Um, masters our own destiny, really. Uh, do you fear complacent become an issue? I don't think so, and that is that we are still one point in front of Medina, three points in front of Salantana, both winning today, I'm guessing. Medina by that goal, one goal against Liverno and Salantana, a 2-1 win against Crotone, uh, two goals in quick succession. Uh, Crotone could only get one back, and uh, Crotone still need those two points in order to assure themselves of promotion. Spezia... How did they do? They lost 1-0 to Ascoli. Um, likewise, they need four points. Um, and we are 11 points off of them. So I don't think we can perhaps get there. But uh, we're still consolidating our place. Um, as it currently stands, 47 uh, with five games to play. Three fives are 15. Uh, 50, 62. We need one point to be assured of a playoff place. Um, let's hope we can do it in the next game of the episode um, against Venezia. Uh, we'll be back for that game next. And you come back for our second game of the episode against Venezia. And uh, the the uh, formation stays the same. We've not changed it. Minelli, Ingol, Visconti, Baxvanos, Fabregoli, Pavlev are defensive line. Fagioli and Ladanetti in um, central midfield with Stepovic, Sabri and Ambrose, who had a fantastic game last time out in the attacking midfield. Rov Gallier out front and on the bench. De Favro, we have a player not picked. Uh, Ponzi, Coffey. Calpai, De Paula, Magazu, Zapella, Mena, Comi, Silvestri, and Golfo. Clayton has uh, been sold. Um, basically, he's 38, wanted to leave, um, and an offer came in for him on pretty much on the money. Um, so he has left. Um, right, we have Albertini, uh, Maserani. I'm tempted to put Maserani in. Where are we? Azarani in there. Do we need a central defender, though? This is the question. Calpai can play central defence. And we've got Silvestri on the bench. That's fine. That is fine. Right. Uh, let's go through, then. Playing with a positive mentality. No changes from the last game. Good to have a settled side, of course, in all games. But... Uh, And it's going to be a carry on where you left off team talk. Uh, how important has strong team spirit in Cantonia 
been uh, to picking up form. Uh, life is more fun when everyone's happy. Uh, you're fifth in the Serie B form table. A good uh, re recent run. Does this help head a kick off? Um, we want to keep things going. Um, Venezia lost two of their last five, but won three on the trot now. And we won three on the trot as well, losing one and drawing one. Currently in third, 61 points, and Crotone and Spezia looking to seal their promotion to Syria A. Syria A on today's results so we keep an eye on them as things start to happen Visconti with a corner early on here and it's a goal from Frabagigoli tried it a couple of times in the pre in the previous match hitting the crossbar and eight minutes on the clock we go one up another assist from Visconti Fabrigoli Farabagoli getting the goal and that's good stuff Frosinone, a one up against Medina. Um, what I was actually going to have a quick look at, uh, Visconti. Can we see his assists? Eight assists currently in the league, ten overall. And who was the other person that's really been? Uh, yeah, Sabri. He's got five assists currently, all in Serie B. So there you go. That's right, that's cleared that up. And I've got a bit of inf intel that I meant to have a look at in between. Bax Vanos has picked up a yellow card. We've come back into the game a little bit. It's not all one one way traffic. And they've headed down and got a ball through. Oh, but Manelli is equal to that. And uh, Visconti with the throw into Fagioli. Visconti looking for Rav Gallier. It's just a little bit too hard. And uh, Pavlev keeping that one in. Finds Ambrose. Ambrose to Ladanetti. Back out to Pavlev, who's gone on the outside. He's got a bit of space. He's going to try and get to the byline. Cross it in for Sabri, who tries to sweep it home. But the defender got in the way. Good block. Visconti getting a boot in there. Not enough on it. And uh, over the top. Missed ball. And they've equalised after 39 minutes. We'll have a look and see who missed the header there. Who is it in the middle here? It's Farabigoli. It's over the top of him. And uh, Aramu just steadied himself and put it away. 1-1 one, one then. And as I say, they have come back into the game. Visconti to Fagioli, who is tripped and nothing given. But uh, Visconti was having none of it. Cross the ball in. Ambrose getting the goal. Fagioli was looking for a free kick, I think. Um, referee played on. And uh, Ambrose getting a goal. He's been playing well out on that wing since we put him out there. And uh, just before half time, that's, uh, that's quite good. Can I just see their XG is actually slightly better than ours. 87, four shots, four on target, 0 0.87 against our nine and five, 0 0.79. We do have the possession though at the moment. So we'll go through to the second half and we'll be right back. No changes made at half time. Rav Gallier getting us underway to Fagioli who hits the ball forward. Nothing happening from there. 
2-1 half time score we're currently four points in front of Medina it'd be nice to hold out for this um, what is going on in the other games still Crotone and I think um, Crotone are losing 2-1 to Empoli uh, Empoli um, and Spezia are playing in the late game interesting as they come forward and they are dangerous coming forward we need to really block them off tackle come on don't let them in and they go oh well blocked ambrose ladanetti gets it forward to rav gallier rav gallier he's not sure whether that's a free kick or a penalty a penalty was given. Fagioli has put that one away. He's putting the penalties away right now and makes it 3-1, a bit of a cushion. He's fifth of the season. Two penalties in two games. Goalkeeper went the right way this time, but he's uh, hit it hard enough to beat the goalkeeper. 17 minutes gone. And uh, Stepovic looks as if he's out of sorts on that side. So Kofi, Kofi can play on that side. We'll play Kofi on that side. And that's the only change we're going to make at the minute. Visconti. Uh, no, Pavlov with the throw in this time. Ball forward. Fabi Fagioli. Stepovic, who's going to come off shortly. Cuts the ball in. But uh, the goalkeeper cuts it out. And they have a quick counter. Ah! Oh, let's put it over the top. Thought they were going to grab one back fairly quickly. And then back Svanos now. Visconti as we play it out of defence. Fagioli to Visconti who's missed pass there. And Visconti doesn't get it. Come on, boys. Oh, straight on him. And it's disallowed. He was offside. Way back, I think. And there he is. Fabagioli had come in a little bit. As we head to 80 minutes. And gone. Still four points ahead of Medina. Crotone still needing those two points and not getting them. Still losing 2-1 to employ. Ryan Poli and Spezia, as I say, playing in the later game. San Lanatana have equalised against Padone. And they have 59 points. As we get down to late in the day now. A couple more changes. Sabri had a good game again. Um... Who are we taking off here? Sabri. Oh, for Magazoo. And it looks like I think we're going to take Ladanetti off. Visconti's going to stay on because he's man of the match fodder today. And De Paola coming on for Ladanetti. Um, no. Did actually want to just check on Rav Galli, but we'll um, we'll stick with that for now. Four minutes of injury time, and I think we're good for the three-one win. That's a a winning episode again. This formation is doing us better. Twenty shots, ten of which were on target. Two point five percent on the xG, a uh, fifty-five percent possession. Goals from Fribergoli after 8 minutes, Ambrose 44 and Fagioli uh, after 69 um, a disallowed for offside for Amaru for his second. Um, might have given them momentum to come for another one but uh, took the sting out of their tail. And uh, a good win boys, well done. And we'll have a final look at that table. We've got the tunnel talk, do you think? Fribergoli's early goal was important in determining the outcome as... Um, 
keen for us to get off to a good start. What sort of impact do you think getting a goal just before half time had? Um, certainly made half time talk a lot easier. And there we are, four points clear of Medina now, uh, five points clear of Salanatana, and we have assured ourselves of a playoff place. Crotone not getting the points. We just need to now see if Spezia can get three towards their number. We're not making life easy for them. And Florentina, Salanatana, Inter and Catania have gathered themselves. Oh, no, it's a different, uh, different competition all together. Um, Visconti, man of the match from the last one for sure. Assistant goes for the team for the uh, post-match conference. And we do all this business. We just want to see the Spezia. We're playing them next. We want just to see what the score is. Just to finish the table up for the end of the episode, if we can. Max Vanos has. He'll miss the next match. I think it's only one match. Yes, it is five yellows. So, Bax Vanos, who's been an ever present in our defence and been playing extremely well since we brought him in. Um, I still don't think we have. No, Sunday nine o'clock. Well, yes, we should have had the result. As he clicks on one more time. Another plane today. They're playing today, so let's have the results for those games and then we're all square. We know exactly where we are. Right, Spezia have beaten Lecky 3 1. So Spezia go top 75, one point away from that. Promotion place and uh, <clears throat> they are definitely in the uh, in the seat. The other game I don't think affects us. It's more bottom of the table. So uh, yeah, all the other games are really bottom of the table. So not really to bother us in the slices. That's where we are. We finished the episode third. Four points clear of uh, Medina and uh, to be honest if we can uh, get something out of Spezia and Chivo Verona um, then hopefully we'll put ourselves in a good place against these two um, in order to uh, round off um, and finish in a good place for the playoffs we don't really want to go through the first bit of the playoffs so we'd rather do the rest of it wouldn't we so that's what we're coming back for with the final two games of the season Venzia and Crotone and, of course, uh, what we'll be looking at then is the playoffs um, and see how we get on in those. So uh, bonus episodes coming up very, very soon. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification button. Keep you up to date with all that's happening in the Sicilian Defence and my other series that is going on to be a legend um, as they are released. <clears throat> New episodes of Sicilian Defence currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. And if you want to keep up to date what's happening with this, this particular series, new series and anything else, FM22, etc., etc., then why not follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 um, And thank you for watching. Uh, we hope to see you for the next episode. It'll be episode 29, and it's out on Friday. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>